Good morning. Give me a second. Okay. No. No. Hold on. I said, give me a minute. Okay. Or as mommy rambling says, okay. <laughs> morning. It's morning time. It's morning time in the city. Ding a ling. Betwixt my thing. Soon you will bang me all day. Hear you moaning, hear you groaning as I'm pounding the da that ass. And on every street corner you'll hear. Ah. And that's a fact. Good morning, Angela Witt. Good morning, Melanie. Good morning, 71. Sarah, it is scary. And we will get into that. We will get there. Before you go, you hope everything is okay. Oh, it is, Lonnie. Maybe. Morning, Mickey Rev. You're so sweet. You always share out my um, live streams. You guys should go subscribe to Mickey Rev because she is awesome. Good morning, Daniel Barry. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Look it. Look who found us over on uh, YouTube. I've known Crystal often for a very long time. What was it? Sixth grade, Crystal? Seventh grade? This woman right here, folks, you better thank her. Thank her. Because I wouldn't be alive without her. She protected me in school. I was bullied by people. People bullied me because uh, I'm a homo. I'm a fairy. But I was in the closet back then. There was one specific person. I'll just say his first name. His name was Gabe. He was so mean to me. He wanted me like dead. Years later, I'm not going to say what happened, but he was really nice to me after that. After I came out. Thank you for being nice to me, Gabe. He was really hot, though. Yes, yeah, sixth grade, Crystal. Good evening over across the pond over there, perfume addict. Hey, Crystal, hold on. I don't know if you know how to use it or not, but I'm going to give you a wrench because uh, that way I can always see you easier popping in. Hey, Gladys. Uh, do you guys, you know what I've uh, been jamming out this song? Do you guys know this song? Let's see who could guess it while we're waiting for some people to come in. Um, <clears throat> It goes, it's giving boss, bitch. It's giving boss, bitch. It's giving bad, bitch. Never ever play me like I'm average. Do you know whose song that is? Across the pond, you know, uh, perfume. I think it's just in the morning, but my friend Peach, uh, see when I don't warm up my voice? Brrr, she lives across the pond as well, and she says, Mm. Hold on. When I do a UK accent, it sounds like I'm in Sherlock Holmes uh, vid. -a. Morning, Rosaline. And I thought I did a good one, but I guess I didn't. Shout out to the evolution of Gabe. He's hot. He still is hot. Oh my God, if he's watching, he probably wants to beat me up again. Or do I not even sound like it? I can't do an Australian accent. I just, my mind. I can't do it. Hey, Chantel. Every time I go to do an Australian accent, it's like, uh, I don't know. It's a mix of God only knows. Good day, mate. Uh, look at that kangaroo. See, I just sound like I'm a stupid person that lives in the UK. But I'm a stupid person who lives in the United States. Okay. Morning over on Facebook, Tammy. Uh, you did great. You sound like your boss. Really, Melanie? Is your boss posh? <laughs> or is that not considered posh? Would I be considered street trash in the UK, do you think? Or like when they, when you guys run into like people with American accents out there, do you get all excited and shit? Morning, Pesky. Hey, Thea. 
uh sounds like a slight london accent just a slight what say you now i'm shakespearean all of a sudden <gasps> if my my mouth isn't warmed up <clears throat> you are global trash <laughs> <laughs> well, global chat trash unites. We all unite right here. Global trash. Hey, bitchy locks. Uh, no, you wouldn't. You'd fit in great over there. You guys, uh, you guys like American accents because over here, when we meet somebody like in person that has like an English accent, really anything, but English, Australian. It's like we're fascinated. We're like, will you talk again? Will you say something again? Because it's just so cool. I guess you really don't come across a lot of that out here. <laughs> Shift, we need to make merch that says that. Global trash unites. Look what I'm drinking out of. She happens to be in the chat. Oh, it's Thea has merch. If you want to go over and support her channel, this keeps shit. Nice and hot or nice and cold all day. You love American accents in the UK? Now, try to explain me in the best way possible. What the fuck? Oh, excuse my language. What? What is an American accent? Because we have so many. We've got the... Uh, I see, I almost did an Australian cowboy. UK mutt mix. Um, like down yonder... We got the Southerners, we got the New Yorkers, we got the the Boston, uh, like we have all these different accents. So what would you consider my accent to be? Just homosexual? I mean, I am. Very, uh, what is my, what would you call my accent? Stupid? <laughs> Dumb? Ridiculous? You get excited for American access? Oh, you had an American teacher. He was cool. He must have been a Republican. <clears throat> Just kidding. Midwest nasal. There you go. And me and Crystal, we grew up in fucking Thor uh, around where all the Thornton, Colorado people are. And you know what? If you want to be fucking hood, we could fuck a be hood too. Why don't you go take a look in the mirror? My best friend, Francesca, when I was little, she's like, oh, hell no, fool. I'm going to go drink me a Pepsi, and I'm going to go roll a fucking joint, fool. I'm from Thornton. That's how people talked that me and Crystal grew up with. Rolling with the homies. Rolling with the homies. Yours to us is an American accent. I think in the UK, we have loads, too. I say baseline American. Are you calling me a basic bitch? Just getting perfume addict. Line dancing. A lot of different accents in England. Really? Now that's interesting. You guys have cowboys in England? Imagine riding yourself a nice English cowboy. Ooh, giddy up, you little bitch. You better giddy, giddy it up real fast. Hey, Muffy. Uh, no, but I grew up around <clears throat> a lot of um, Hispanics and Hispanic friends. Actually, a lot of people thought I was Hispanic, and I was like, oh, they still do. People think I'm Asian as well. I'm fine with that. Morning, Angie. Love you. Uh, <clears throat> but I am not. I am a mutt of a bunch of uh, Caucas Caucasian ancestors that crawled on top of each other. Uh, in, I don't know, the mid uh, 1600s and multiplied. And uh, now there's a bunch of dumbasses like myself running around in my bloodline. And we all have the same hairline. Okay. Question. Thornton. I'm from Thornton, fool. We all said fool. And, uh, oh, thank you, Muffy. We all said fool. And I don't think you want to fuck a girl there, fool. Oh, I eat. <laughs> People said that all the time instead of saying like, uh, or oh my God, that I, uh, uh, I don't have a sweater in here, but people would also share coats if they were dating each other. Crystal weighs out 
yeah, ways out instead of just kidding. Ways out. Crystal knows what I'm talking about. I, actually, I think Crystal, I think you did this. You know, couples would walk down the hall and the guy would be wearing a coat, a big like fucking Dallas Cowboys coat, unless you're a blood. I don't know what the bloods and the crips really wear. I think the bloods were Kelvin Klein for like Crip Killer. I know how to flash the blood sign, but I'm not going to do it on here. I could spell it perfectly. It's like with two hands. But I don't want to do it because I was never in a gang. <laughs> but they, the girl would be in front of him. And instead of holding around the waist, she'd put her arms in his coat jacket with him. And they'd wrap it around each other. Yes, it was a starter jacket. And they'd walk down the hall like a fucking conjoined twin or something. I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Michael's doing um he's doing better. He's out but he was out for a run at the park right now and he had to get himself another job which he did accomplish. So that's good. Uh yeah, but those starter jackets I I thought it was so cool because I finally got me a fucking uh starter jacket too. I got me a fucking Broncos fool. And nobody thought that I was fucking cool because nobody liked the Broncos back then. But I was like, damn fool, look at me now. Look at me now. What you going to do? <laughs> and you take it to school and everyone's like, your jacket sucks. <clears throat> oh, and I had Colorado Rockies. Your accent is similar to Peaky Blinders. I'm only a few miles from Birmingham. A lot of people can't understand me. Oh. I think I've heard your accent, Pesky. I think you've been a few times. Hey, Bechdel Real. Um, hot tip. Before I bounce, don't flash gang signs, bruh. You're welcome. Oh, no. I only used one hand. Oh, yes. It's just like if somebody gets caught playing with it in public. I was only using one hand. Sorry to all my bloods and crypts out there. I didn't actually use anything with my sign. I talk a lot with my hands. Okay. Uh... I promise you I'll never do it again, okay? You wore dickies with suspenders. You know what I did? I wore me some overalls, fool. And I would put one of those things down, and I'd leave the other one up. Because you know what, fool? That shit was fucking cool back in the day. And then I'd sit outside and watch my friends hacky sack and shit. Because I didn't know how, so I'd stand there all the time. No wonder I got picked on. God, what a piece of shit I was. <sighs> but thank God for Crystal. So everyone thank Crystal Lofton in the chat because she's the reason that I... Did she... Oh, she... We weren't even, like, friends back in the day, and she would protect me. Like, because she was cool in middle school. She had all these cool people around her and stuff. Uh... I was stupid and lost. Am I broken, Peach? Am I broken? See, watch. Peach has an amazing accent. And when I talk like this, she's like, I'm not even going to say the word because that's controversial. My kitten is so cute. Um, If you're talking about Gizmo, yes. I posted pictures if anyone's interested, if you're around the Illinois area of kit, uh, not kittens. Uh, baby chihuahuas, if anybody's interested, uh, inbox me. I laugh. I thought I was so cool. I loved you. You were adorable and sweet always. <gasps> she confirmed it, folks. I was adorable and sweet forever, all the time. I was gangly, though. I will say that. I look at pictures of me back then. I'm like, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> oh, you saw the short I did? All right, guys, gather around. We have a few things to go over, okay? Uh, grab your coffee. Grab your grab your starter jackets full. Grab your Calvin Klein. Grab your cowboys. Grab it all. Hell, I want it all. Huh? No, no, no chance.
you should hear all the English accents here. You know what? Perfume and uh, perfume and peach. All of you should come on panel one time and we should compare your accents and you can you can teach us. Uh, Rosaline says, I keep forgetting to test you about epilepsy. Text me about epilepsy and living with a loved one who has it. Let me know if you ever want to talk about it. I absolutely do, Rosaline, please. Because Michael was at the gym today and I'm like, is he going to be in the pool? He needs to tell his gym about, you know, what's going on because... I mean, he could, there could, sometimes there's nobody in the steam room, you know? Thank you, uh, Rosaline. Oh, look, there's uh, Amanda over on Facebook. She says, were you in high school yet when the shooting happened at our high school on the front lawn? Or was that a year before we started? Are you talking about Heidi's brother? You know, I don't want to say her last name on here, but is that who you're, I went to school with Mandy too, you guys, Amanda. That's Sandra the Medium's identical twin, by the way, folks. Amanda, we all went to school together. I think you're talking about Williams. And yes, I do remember that if that's the one. Um, yes, that would be great. Do you guys have like a special English food you don't recall? I, I'm pretty sure, and I don't remember her brother's name, but I think it was Heidi. Heidi hung out with the, uh, we're all having high school chat. Heidi hung out with the girl. Her mom worked in the office at Ranham at our high school. And Heidi and her were like good friends. But I forget that girl's name too. She just added me on Facebook recently. I don't know. God, we're getting old. So many people are fucking dead. Uh, from my... A uh, high school reunion. And you know what somebody told me at my 10 year high school reunion? I'm standing there and they're like, Taylene passed away. This girl, Taylene, was one of my favorite people. And I was like, what? All these years I was believing she passed. And then I was sitting there with my friend, uh, Amber Brunkart. That's her original name. So I'm not doxing her. And uh, we're sitting there talking. She's like, Taylene. I was like, yeah, I can't believe she passed away. She's like, she didn't. She was just at my house talking to me with her brother like a couple weeks ago. I was like, no. She wasn't even passed. Taylene is still around. Fish and chips. Ooh, okay. Greasy, but good. Put some, um, what's that vinegar called? I forget the type of vinegar, but it's really good with the, the vinegar. Not apple cider, something else. Laura? Yes, Laura was the girl who her mom worked in the office. <laughs> Morning, Lycan. I'm talking to some, this This is one of my, Lycan, this girl, Crystal, on the screen, she protected me since sixth grade. She was cool and I wasn't, and she protected me. <sighs> Yorkshire fish and chips? Ooh, yes, malt vinegar. Ooh. I thought you were ignoring you. Oh, hey, Kelsey. Good morning. No, really. Like, and I was a dweeb in middle school. Holy shit, man. I was so fucking stupid. Uh, thank God that there was like theater and drama in uh, high school, like a becoming a thespian, because I don't think I would have been able to express myself or I don't know. People understand me because I was just such a fucking weirdo. Okay. I'm, before we get into stuff. Let me just say this. This is the dumbest thing probably that I've, well, not that I've ever done because I'm really stupid. This is one of the dumbest things, all right? But this will make sense to weirdos like myself. So between fifth grade and sixth grade, okay? <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this, but who gives a fuck? I was going to a different school because you have to go to middle school, okay, graduate from elementary, and I needed a revamp. I needed something to make me different, something new, so I'm coming, you know, it's almost like Courtney Cox coming into a new Scream movie with a new fucking haircut in the 90s, okay? I wanted to come back with bangs. So I was watching Home Alone, part one, and you know, uh, Angela Gothels is the actress's name. She's the sister that says... You're what the French call les incompetents. Well, her character is in the second movie. 
but and I thought it was her, but it's a completely different actress. And she has like these stupid bangs and her she's like with her lips. My dumb ass going into sixth grade the whole first day, I remember my jaw hurting because I wanted to look different. I wanted people to think that I grew up. I plastered my fucking bangs to my head with hairspray. And I pushed my lip out like this all fucking day. So fucking stupid. That's probably why I started getting picked on to begin with. And then the next day I just went back to school with the normal hair and normal lips. Isn't that dumb? Isn't that fucking stupid? God, the thing, what, what are the, some of the things that you guys did that was stupid? I also would talk about drinking alcohol, <laughs> even though I didn't drink it at all. <laughs> Leslie, you know who I'm talking about? Shrek and Gust, Crystal. No, 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 no. It was Stacy Gillespie. She invited me to a party one time in middle school. They're all drinking. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? Me and my friend Frank, Francesca's brother. We're like, mm. they were all out of wine coolers by the time we got there anyways. But I probably wouldn't have drank one even if they had them. <laughs> no society is dumb. Um, <clears throat> you dyed your hair stupid colors. That's the dumbest thing you've done. Perfume, I'll subscribe to you. Yes, you guys need to subscribe to Perfume. She is absolutely beautiful and she has a wonderful channel. I've, I've done a lot of dumb stuff. I remember I had the biggest crush on Brooke Dollinger, this girl in school. They'll know who I'm talking about. She used to walk by my house every single day on the way to school and I knew exactly what time she'd walk by. And I'd open the windows so she could hear my music and think I'm cool. And when she'd walk by, I would play Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls on repeat on the CD player. So she would hear it and be like, oh, he listens to TLC. He's cool. I don't even think she even knew I fucking lived there. She never once looked my way. She passed away recently. Um, God rest her soul. But she was beautiful. You got suspended. You did get suspended. Crystal brought vodka and a water bottle. I remember your face being plastered everywhere. Crystal, you like ran away or something like that. Do you remember that? That was scary shit. That was almost like we thought it was like a true crime case. Hey, proud army mama. Pesky says we had to wear skirts at school as part of our uniform. Just spent my time doing handstands so boys could see my knickers. <laughs> Good morning, Samantha B. Oh, my goodness. To be fair, when I'm tired, I almost put my cereal box in the fridge. Oh, fuck yeah, I've done that shit like that. <sighs> Thank God I drink almond milk because I have done that with almond milk and put it just in the cupboard. But, I mean, it's fine either way. Yeah, Crystal had missing posters everywhere. And I don't know if I remember this correctly, Crystal, but I'm pretty sure it was for, like, weeks. Because I remember everybody thought you were, hey, Cristola, that was scary. Um, You had uniforms? That must be like a, a UK cross the pond. Cross the pond. See, I can't do accents like Lycan can. Which, by the way, I have a friend that can talk like Miss Swan. Hold on a minute. Listen to this, you guys. She sent me a message the other day. I hadn't talked to her in years. And she sends me this voice recording. It's like, oh, yeah, you don't know, you know. Oh, no, no, you know. What? This is her. Oh, I did the live stream for you, okay, big boy? Because I was like, you need to come on a live stream and talk like that sometime. Oh, yeah, I do a live stream for you, big boy. I nail your accent very well. Oh, um, I hope you're talking to Lycan and not me, because I fucking butcher that shit. Uh, Robbie eats his cereal with nut juice. That is correct information. You weren't supposed to wear makeup. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to say this bluntly. All the fucking whores that I went to school with wore makeup. All those skanks. And you want to know what else? <laughs> they would do the wave. 
And it's like the higher you could get your wave in your hair to go, it's like the cooler you were, you know. I remember this girl, Regina. She's like, oh, fuck you, fool. She's cute, like tomboyish. Very sweet, though. She also protected me. She would put a big wave in her hair, but she was like tomboy, too, at the same time, kind of. She's cool. You went to an all-girls school? Oh, shit. I bet there was a lot of bitch fights there. That was the most terrifying thing in school is when a fist fight breaks out. I think the very first one was this girl, Rhiannon, and this other girl, I think her name was Autumn or something, beating the... Well, this girl, Rhiannon, was beating the living shit out of her. I was terrified because it was right outside of my choir room. And here comes my little fairy ass coming out of choir like, ah, ah, bam, 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 bitch. Ripping like fucking shit out of their hair and all that shit. You and Regina are still homies. She's my Facebook friend. We're cool. <laughs> you still talk to Rhiannon. Rhiannon is beautiful. Hey, Scotty. Orange and gray colors for school my high school colors were green and gold <laughs> stupid it's not even a fucking high school anymore they turned it into a middle school girls are definitely the worst at fighting yeah i've never seen people fight like that before you guys know augie in here um he's one of the moderators in here i went to school with him too and i actually saw somebody who was Crystal, was it you beating him up? There was a fight and someone was beating him up. I swear it was you. No. Her name was Nikki. She was this tall Nikki Black. Was that her name? She's beating the shit out of him. But of course he didn't hit back because, Augie, are you in here? If you're in here, show yourself. Anyways. Lonnie's the biggest skink. She wears makeup only on Wednesdays with your pink outfit. You used to start the fist fights and I used to finish them. Oh, I could see that. I can see that, Lonnie. Your frame rate is rather chunky? Really? I wonder what gives. I wonder what gives. Maybe close some windows. Oh, let's see. Hold on a minute. I don't know. I don't have any windows open. I don't have any windows open. Uh, you got beat up for calling someone bulldog of the year. My mom was a fucking savage beast. And she went to the same middle school I did when she was younger. And she got in fist fights all the time. I remember on parent teacher conference night, she's like, oh, I beat up a girl in this hallway. I beat up a girl there. I'm like, shit. <gasps> Oh, it's okay, Lonnie. Uh, you used to have your own style, even in gray and orange uniform. Makeup is your hobby. Uh, but people are beautiful without makeup. <sighs> Doubt it. I'm just kidding. Your 50th birthday, Scotty? You're going to be 50? Wow. Anyways. Here, I'll vape if my uh, frame rate shits off. Anyways. Caleb. That name sounds familiar. Was he the short little Hispanic one, Crystal, or the tall blonde guy? I don't know. You're officially vintage? Well, you look fantastic. All right. Has anybody, did anybody see Natasha Cooper's live stream yesterday on TikTok? Anyone? I text because somebody in mod chat said it. I think I text Lycan. Natasha Cooper. Okay. I was like busy and I get a text from her. She was like, Gypsy Rose came on my panel tonight. I was like, where? Because I never know where Natasha is live streaming at. So I go over to her rumble and I thought it was in real time. Yeah, I sent you to rumble, Crystal. It was actually on TikTok and she was replaying it on her rumble. But Natasha Cooper seemed to have made TMZ this morning. Isn't that crazy? But she's known Gypsy Rose for many, many, many years. So before we get started on the actual topic today, let's go over 
Now, I'm not good with TikTok or anything, but let's see if we could play the TikTok video on here. So hold on. Because Natasha said I could play it. Your boss would lose his mind if I took all of them at once. <gasps> You're talking about taking all that day up? Just kidding. <gasps> uh, I don't, but you have five. Ooh, five paid days off. That's nice. Hey, Siren. Yes, Melanie, brace yourself. I have to log in. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. It's giving boss, bitch. It's giving boss, bitch. It's giving bad, bitch. Never ever play me like a man, bitch. Select two objects. Hold on. It's fucking. Select two objects that are the same shape. I hate this fucking bot shit. Unable. Hold on, you guys. It's playing some shit in my ear, and it's really pissing me off. It's making me verify shit. So hold on a minute. I can't see chat, so shut the fuck up. Shut your fucking mouth. You understand? Shut up. Ooh. Oh, no. I do not want that to be my screen. Hold on. I, ah! Sorry, that's the train and it scared me. <laughs> All right, hold on, I'm back. <laughs> I'm sorry, the black tea is kicking in. Well, I just started a new TikTok. I had to sign up for TikTok. I have one already, but whatever. Sure, I'll take another one. Fuck it. <laughs> And why I hate that TikTok automatically plays. Shut this fucking video up. All right, hold on. Hold on. I'm pulling it up. Get up. It's on my goddamn screen. Fuck you. Fuck. Yeah, I, now I know why it's glitchy, like, and it's fucking uh, really slow. I'm fucking TikTok. Tick this, you piece of shit give you something to tick you're gonna be talking real hard to the fuck up sorry about my bad poor language eat a dick nobody gives a fuck about your feelings anyways <laughs> get tiktok for desktop no go fuck yourself how about that well natasha all these people are stealing your fucking video holy shit now, Natasha specifically texted me and said I can play this. So, all these other people, did you get money from TMZ? I don't fucking think so. I don't fucking think so. No, hold on, because it's not on her true crime channel. I'm trying to find, I think it's on Recline, or maybe it is. Let me see if it's on her Natasha Cooper thingy. I'm hitting follow. She has 49,000 views on Holy shit. All right. So hold on. I'm sharing the screen. Ready, guys? There's three parts to it. It looks like you're getting up for a smoke for this. Oh, you don't want to miss this. And sorry about the train. Okay. That's not actual people having sexual relationships in the background. Hold on. I'm going to close the window. It's giving boss, bitch. It's giving rich, bitch. It's giving bad, bitch. Oh, my God, Peach, that would have been easier. Sorry, I wasn't even in the screen, but it's okay. Thank you. It's giving bad, bitch. It's giving rich, bitch. All right, here we go. Let me see if this pops up. Okay. There you go. <laughs> this light's not great. Yeah, sorry. Turn it up. Um, are y'all all officially convinced now? Yes, Mama Four. This is By me. the way, I didn't think I liked your hair to begin with, but it does. Who the hell is y'all about now? I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm not losing you. it. Bring them. Not you. I'm losing it. I, I started getting older, I guess. He thought I was talking about his hair. 
Oh, Gypsy Rose and her ex on Natasha's panel. I, think she looks I said one. I did not like it to begin with. I didn't think I did, but it looks better in person. Can you guys hear that okay? Yeah, she looks oh my god. That was hilarious. Now. Can you go full screen on that? Wait, what'd you press? I don't know. Ugh, I don't like this lighting in here. He has he has the same uh, hairline I do. Y'all both know what's up. Y'all both know how I feel about everything, and y'all both know we've not seen eye to eye since 2019. So I mean that ain't nothing whatever. And for everybody that's in here saying whatever, I if if <laughs> I have fancy like, on my panel and be civil, then I ought to be able to have anybody up here and be civil. So I don't know why y'all are thinking that this is anything new. I've always been this way. If somebody comes into my chat or up here and they're respect hold on, I'm gonna pause real quick. I'm not sure I because I never followed Gypsy Rose until the documentary and stuff because it was really interesting. But Natasha has been covering it since the beginning. So uh, she used to talk to this guy on the screen, which is Gypsy's ex, which a lot of people don't know. She recently separated from her husband and she's been hanging out with the ex. But you'll see what they say on here. They say they have not had sexual relations together. They didn't use the word yet, but, uh, well, let's just skip by that part. Uh, I don't, uh, I mean, all right, let's just be honest. If I was next to that man, I'd climb him like a tree. Come on. He's good looking. Okay. You go from her husband to this, you go on and want some dick. Okay. That is just a known fact. Uh, anyways, but. <laughs> I think Natasha's kind of, I don't really know, so I don't want to speak for her, but I think she's been kind of on to Gypsy Rose or whatever, uh, as far as I know. I don't, but I don't really know, so I'm not even going to say that. But she did, I'm pretty sure she wrote Gypsy Rose in prison and all this. So anyways, let's keep going. Respectful. I can be the same way. It's called being an adult. What did you just do? Uh he was vaping Are you under smoking something. You better not get me bananaed. What is that? Huh? It looked like an accordion. Oh it's my just God. nicotine. He calls it an e-cigarette. Have mercy. That's funny. I can't see your face. I don't know if you don't want to. I've got this live. picture up here. Oh, I don't care. I've already been on I'm all the time, but I've got that picture of your tattoo. Oh, yes. Let's see them in person. Okay, so hold on a minute. Who's the Who's who was saying that Gypsy and him got matching tattoos? He is handsome, isn't he, Tiff? We were talking about this in Tiff's chat last night. Somebody was saying, didn't they get matching tattoos? But I think it's just his on what each arm, and I think they're hearts when they connect, or they just look like that. I don't know why Ken is all up in the camera. People probably want to see Gypsy. <gasps> exactly. But I think Gypsy... She, like deleted all of her social media except private stuff is I think what Natasha said. But I asked, I asked Natasha, I said, how were they, were they just in your chat on TikTok and they just came up? She was like, yeah, they were just in the chat. And I guess people didn't believe that Natasha knew them from the case and stuff. And so they just took a link and called in. It's a craziness. All right, I'm going to keep going. They were saying they don't look new. They're brand new. They're fresh. They're still red. Yeah, they're still, they're still healing. <laughs> okay, you okay, see the way sir. she touched well, him? There you saw it. <laughs> you see the way she touched him? This is my opinion, but I think they're doing it. Doing it and doing it and doing it. Wow. And doing it and doing it and doing it. Wow. That's okay. I support that. <laughs> I support it. What? Oh, yeah. Is it a heart? Is it supposed to be a heart when you put them together? No. no, no okay. It's, 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 a, like, it's just a husky. It. That's all that it is. It's an 
outline. So like we didn't want to get like the full detail because that's actually really painful. Yeah. So we just kind of wanted the outline of a husky and I was like scrolling for something that like <laughs> I thought would be pretty. I love I I'm just clout chasing LOL. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Uh, do you guys notice that I, I don't post any content? I'm not a content creator. All my socials are private. I don't accept anybody who I don't know or don't have mutuals with. So there's absolutely no part of me that is chasing any kind of clout here. I could care less if you follow. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Now, uh, of course, you know, we could take him for his word and whatnot. Listen to me very closely. If you have documentaries, which he's going to say in a minute, like they didn't pay him for, he, I guess he does an upcoming interview. If you are getting interviews, if you are dating Gypsy Rose or hanging out with Gypsy Rose, it doesn't fucking matter if you have social media or not. You're going to become popular in your own right. So you don't need social media at that point. So you don't have to just clout chase on the internet. You can clout chase in real fucking person because you know, I think anybody knows, Gypsy Rose is followed around by the paparazzi now. Probably non-fucking stop. So in my personal opinion, yes, they did talk before, but it kind of could be considered by some people clout chasing a little bit. That's just my opinion. And I don't know how they met when she was in prison, but they met when she was in prison. Like, I don't know if he just started writing her or whatever. So, I mean, that's probably why people think that. It has nothing to do with the internet. Hey, Iris, love you. All the requests me or not. I'm like, I'm not going to post any content, so do whatever you well, want. Or and as you can see on the watermark, guys, uh, that's Natasha's TikTok, True Crime with Natasha Cooper. Um, she's also over on Rumble. She does True Crime on Rumble, and I think she has a Recline channel on Rumble as well. I can I can vouch for that too. He's he's always been that way. He was that way back then. In 2019, he didn't care. Oh, they were pen pals. I want to work every day, pay my bills, pay my rent. Like, I'm not looking for any kind of attention or clout or fame. Or, I, again, if you, you can choose to believe me or not, it's up to you. But I don't get paid for anything. I, I did an interview, which you'll see on her Lifetime show that comes out um, in the summer. And no money. They were asking if you were gonna if you were going to be included in the Lifetime. So there's your answer. I did. I, yeah, I did interview with them. But... Um, I, I don't think I signed any kind of NDA, so I don't think I'm not allowed to say that. So that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. If I did, oops, but they didn't pay me anything. So right. you didn't really say anything other than you did. So you didn't really give anything. I don't think that yeah, would be I, pretty basic interview. I didn't I like her husband. I don't care. <laughs> People are like, I'm not going to watch it. Okay, cool. <laughs> then why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing I say in here when people come in and say, "Why are you?" <gasps> yeah, I mean, yes, he's much more likable than the husband Tiff for sure. Uh, I mean, I will say that, but all right, hold on. Am I so this, this is part two. Hold on. Substances featured in this live can harm your health. Okay, I've got a, well, I've got a consuming know. substances warning. Okay. All right. I'll stop doing that then. <laughs> can, you, can you still see me or am yeah, I gone? You're still live. Well, Look, I'm still live. Okay. <laughs> I can still see you. Any yeah, other questions? Just, I, I told y'all she watched my lives. I'm trying to think and I'm trying to read the chat at the same time. He's already said what he does for work. He works at a bar. A he invited bartender. Nina to come for a drink. Yeah, Nina, I will, I will. He doesn't I have a girlfriend. He, he broke up with his girlfriend. <gasps> Hold on. When was this? Timing is key, and we, us people that want the tea, need to know. When was this? Well, he says it was mutual. 
You listen to me and you listen to me, but good. Do you understand? Uh, you guys remember when I tested my intuition all the time? I predicted Gypsy Rose on a live stream would only be with her husband like a couple of months. And I was right. But I think that she, uh, I mean, this guy is good looking. He seems nice. I think, uh, hopefully that maybe they're just friends. But I mean, come on. Maybe friends with benefits. Who knows? I don't know. But I think this girl needs to be like on her own for a while to discover herself. See, you remember when I said that, Melanie? I was right. I was like, it's not even going to last a year. They're like school kids getting drunk. There is flirting. <gasps> Bingo. Plus, well, I would imagine I think they're probably at Gypsy's house because she moved back like back in with her uh, parents, her dad. So I would imagine that's where they're at. I don't know. It's a mutual separation, but yes. Mutual separation. Excuse me. Mutual separation. Oh, wow. How do y'all know her name? Wait, who? People know her name. I've seen her. Because you're yeah. dating Gypsy Rose. Yeah, or not dating that. her. But... Well, it's, I saw in the chat. Somebody knows. <gasps> <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't see that. Right, Samantha B? Right after separating, you're with your ex fiance getting tattoos. Yeah. And uh, if I remember correctly, in the document, in the new series that follows her around, that was an issue between her and her husband that they spoke about on that was, you know, she didn't tell him that she was talking to this guy, the ex, uh, or something along the lines of that. And now here we are on Natasha Cooper's panel, talking with the ex and her just chilling, hanging out, vaping away. Toodle dee, toodle dumb. Yeah. Fiddling fingers. Possible. Ah, penetration. Gypsy is going to be very vulnerable and really susceptible to exploitation, Tiff says. I hope she has a solid support system with her dad and Christy. Yeah, because like, I mean, can you imagine trying to get your life in order while being so focused on and judged like in the public eye? He flew from Texas to see her? Oh, <gasps> holy shit. The plot thickens. Thank you, Tracy, for saying that. You don't get the matching tattoos with just a friend. Yeah, what? But did I don't? I didn't see her tattoos. I only saw his. Does anybody know if she has them? Because they only showed his. I don't. I don't see any on her. She acts younger than she is. Well, it's probably because she was kind of forced to her whole life. So it's probably comes natural. Ryan knew she had strong feelings for him and was very intimidated by that. Understandably. So she said on an interview, she would always love this guy. I'm sorry, but that husband just came off very cocky and bitchy, which good for you for having confidence, but God, and I don't know what he called him because they bleeped it out, but I'm pretty sure her husband on an interview don't quote me because I don't know if this is correct. But he said, yeah, he's a beep. And he's like, and I only say that because why would he leave this beautiful woman? I think he used a slur, if you know what I'm talking about. But I could be wrong because they bleeped it out. I do like your song on Sally Ann's channel. Oh, you like the beat to it? That's Sally Ann part two. <sighs> Push me like in part two. Push me like in. Which Push Me Like in is going to be featured in the new parody. Sally Ann is in it. There's going to be a part of Push Me. The husband got too big for his britches, metaphorically speaking, that cocky attitude. Yeah. And yeah, I, I get it. He's probably protective and kind of jealous and whatever, but she picks some doozies, don't she? See, that's what I'm saying, Scotty. She needs to like balance herself out and shit. And maybe, you know, she'll attract different types of people. I'll just say that. I don't know this guy. I've never really heard him talk or anything, so I'm not judging him. I'm just saying shit's too soon. She's never adulted or anything before. She's got to do that. Her alone, wow.
he's vaping. Oh, uh, thank you, Robbie, Sarah. Okay. Um, is that it? Yes. Are we done? I guess. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate y'all coming up here. They want to know where your puppy is, for God's sake. Please answer that. Okay, this part is sad. And this is going to be controversial, okay? This makes me sad. Because I'm an animal lover. Especially if you get a new puppy. Listen what she has to say, and then I'll tell you how I feel about it. I, I, he's, uh, she is with Ryan. I gave her to Ryan. Like, I didn't want to uproot her from everything that she knows. So she loved Ryan more. So I let him keep the puppy. There you go. That was very nice of her to do. And I'm trying not to, like, you know, and that's, of course, if a, like, I did that with my dog, uh, Christina. She lives out with my parents because um long time ago when I got Christina, it was when I was at my parents' house. She was very, you know, comfortable with the pets there and everything. So Christina lives in Kansas with my parents. So I get it. But it's almost, yeah, she doesn't need the responsibility of a dog right now, Tiff. That's a good point. It kind of, because like a puppy is like so hard to be detached from. To me, this is just my opinion. It kind of shows that she, she could just like abandon anything. And I'm not saying she abandoned the dog. Do you get where I'm going with this? It kind of seems like she could just like throw... Things she loves away. If you know what I mean. I don't know. That's just my thought. But then again, you know, she's probably, it is the best for the dog. Um, But it's like, it's still sad. But, you know, maybe she cried about it and got, a, you know, she's just talking about it. What do these stickers even say? I'm too blind. I need new stickers, Scotty. I'm, I'm working on new ones. If they're my personalized ones, they're stupid. The other ones, I have no fucking idea. Having Teddy is like a forever toddler. He's a lot of work for a five pound dog. My, I'm my dog's pet. So she's not really much work. I'm work to her. <laughs> there you go. That's where the puppy is. I swear if that, that is probably one of the most questions that I had where they were more worried about that puppy than they were anything. She's perfectly fine with Ryan. That's that's a good point, too, Lonnie, saying that was a very mature thing to do. That's impressive, in my opinion. She has too much going on in, in her life. Yes. No, I, t I totally get that, too. Um, Rosaline says, think about it for a minute. Growing up the way she did makes it easy to disconnect from people and things. Bingo. Exactly what you said, Rosaline. I was trying to find a way to word it because... Like, I don't, I don't think it's a terrible thing. I just think that that's something maybe that she needs to pay attention to or people around her is like, you know, maybe to address it or something. And I know a lot of people are like, dude, it's a dog. I get very attached. Uh, if he doesn't get his way, he literally throws a fit. Your dog. Oh, yeah. Brooklyn, too. When it's cold outside and she doesn't want to go potty outside, my chihuahua. You're like, Brooklyn. Uh go potty. Come on, let's go potty. She'll cower like you're going to hit her and then roll on her back like all pathetic. And it's like li literally Brooklyn, really? We installed, we paid like, what is it? A thousand dollars or something to have artificial grass put into our yard. You are going to utilize it. But when the sun's out, oh yeah, she'll go right out because she loves to sunbathe. She's picky. She's bossy. Scotty says, I had a horrible thing happen to me yesterday. My precious little Marie was missing all day. <gasps> I was despondent thinking she was gone. Aw, do you have outside cats? Are they outside? See, since we live like out, way out up here, uh, our cats are indoor because they will definitely get scooped up by something out here. <laughs> People need to not say that rather animals over humans. It's not just a dog. Exactly. 
Um, all right, hold on. Let's keep going because there's one more little one. All right. Well, I appreciate y'all coming up here and clarifying those things and showing you tattoos. Oh, inside cat. No problem. Natasha, I hope that you're doing well. I wish you the best, of course, you know. I'm doing all positivity. Well. I've had a I've got a grandbaby since all the stuff happened in 2019. So yesterday from my PO. And so apparently someone had reported to my PO that Ken is a felon. And everybody knows oh that God. parole, you can't hang out with other convicted felons. So I've already told them that he's not. I've already <laughs> wrong he doesn't have a criminal record never been in prison nope. he's not a felon no felons. So I'm not <laughs> I, I clarified that yesterday i actually clarified that for you i told them that you did not have a felony record i don't know i don't know what because a lot of people were saying that yesterday and a lot of people got misinformation and thought that y'all met and he was in prison not that y'all met while you were in prison and i was like no 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 <laughs> For the record, that report was... Yes, okay. Well, not several mugshots. I've got one. I've been to jail one time for one night for driving on a suspended license back in 2014. I told y'all it was nothing so, but traffic yeah. issues. Yeah, yeah who cares you know, about apparently that? Apparently, I had to learn this back then. I was like 21 at the time. But if you get a if you get a speeding ticket and you don't pay it, you get a suspended license. And if you get pulled over, you go to jail for a night. So I learned that a little lesson back then <laughs> but that's well, the one film i've ever been in jail let out this morning so yeah there is a mugshot i'm sure you can find it but uh i yeah. found it back anyway, in the day no, it's I <laughs> i'm gonna try to hurry i don't know if i'm gonna get around to what i was gonna talk about but you're scared i told natasha i'd show this hold on i'm, I'm gonna keep playing because there's one more fuck it's terrible. i'm gonna have to change the name you look like you're about to have a good mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're about. We don't know how to swear. Am I going to think? Okay, so now there's one more. This one. So yesterday, a call from my PO, and so apparently someone had reported to my PO that Ken is a felon, and everybody knows oh my that parole you can't hang out with other convicted felons. So, I've already told them that he's not. I've already. He's wrong. He doesn't have a criminal record. Never been in prison. Nope. Nope. He's not a felon. No felons. So I'm not I, I clarified that yesterday. I actually clarified that for you. I told them that you did not have a felony record. I don't know. I don't know what, because a lot of people were saying that yesterday. And a lot of people got misinformation and thought that y'all met and he was in prison. Not that y'all met while you were in prison. And I was like, no, 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 no. For the record, that report was. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, not several mugshots. I've got one. I've been Change your name to Bar. I think, <laughs> I think Gypsy Rose is pretty in my personal opinion. Um, plus she's a Taurus. Tauruses are fucking awesome. They really are. Now, this is a fact, by the way, folks. Okay. Every single Taurus that I've known, like my dad's a Taurus. Uh, a lot of my best female friends in my teens and 20s, female Tauruses. I live with two Tauruses. Now, this is just something that Tauruses do, and it's it really is harmless, okay? Tauruses will tend to, if you want to call them white lies, or when they're telling a story, make it more interesting and throw some spice in there that might not be necessarily true, but not harmful in any way. They're known for that. And to me, that's harmless. Tauruses are my favorite sign besides Gemini, because we're cool. And so maybe, you know, a lot of things she just holds back or whatever. Who knows? But she is a Taurus. So I think that's why her personality is so likable, because Tauruses are just fucking down to earth. OK, fuck it all. Hell, I want it all. You're a Gemini Taurus cusp. So then you're a little bit on the shy side, aren't you, Bethany? Every Gemini Taurus that I've met is very quiet until you get to know them. Very quiet. 
you feel like they're just wanting 15 minutes of fame. See, Kate, I I could see that, how you think that. Um, but I mean, they kind of already had it, like without even asking for it, you know, just from the case in general. So coming out, it's kind of like, you know, how do you deal with it? You don't, you're, she's trying to cope. And I mean, she just recently shut down uh, Gypsy Rose, I think all of her social media, except for, I guess, the private ones or something. So you're a Taurus Gemini cusp, Tracy. <sighs> um, Hold on, I'm reading. I think this is for a Lifetime show. Uh, the the Natasha TikTok? Or you think they're going to, I think maybe, maybe, and this is just my opinion, maybe that they're just saying um, they're not dating or whatever because they want to save that surprise for the show. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's part of a contract or something like that. I don't know. I'm just saying maybe... They're like, well, just wait and see. But I mean, come on. Call a spade a spade. Shit. You left your husband, and now you're hanging out with your ex. You do the math, folks. Been to jail one time for one night for driving on a suspended license back in 2014. I found out it was nothing so, but traffic yeah. issues. Yeah, you know, Traffic apparently Bingo, I Ash. back then I was like 21 at the time. But if you get a if you get a speeding ticket and you don't pay it, you get a suspended license. And if you get pulled over, you go to jail for a night. So I learned that le lesson back then. <laughs> but that's well, the one time I've ever been in jail. Let out this morning. So yeah, there his is sound is cutting out. I'm sure you can find it, but uh I yeah, found it back anyway, in the day. No, it's not I cute at all. <laughs> it's terrible. You look like you're about 12. You look like you're about 12 years old in your mug. It was a long time ago. Uh, uh, Sarah, are you talking about like chatting in one of the opposite sides of me? I, I don't ever care about that ever unless I see people like actually – engaging in the conversation of like dragging me that's the only time i care other than that i i don't care um i've learned over the years not to not to jump on people about that because a lot of people don't even know what's going on so for me don't worry about that sarah but if you end up talking shit in a chat i will drag you i'm just kidding well <laughs> so yeah don't worry about it Yeah, you looked really young. Well, that was before stress kicked in and of adulthood, I guess. I I'm going to try to get into what I was going to talk about. I'm changing no, that feeling. <laughs> well, thank y'all very much for coming up. I appreciate y'all doing this and clarifying things. And, you know, it is what it is. If there's anything else you want to clarify, yeah. you know, I'm pretty good at passing messages. <laughs> I do not have an Whatever is going around with OnlyFans, that's not me. I would never do that. So clarification, you heard it from Gypsy Rose herself. She does not have an OnlyFans. Now, I think Natasha gets into saying, I don't know what platform it was, but somebody ended up, I don't, I didn't even know you could do this. Somebody ended up getting verified on some platform to where you have the check mark by your name. And then they changed the name to Gypsy Rose. But hold, I think Natasha is going to explain that part. Yeah, um, somebody on Reddit joined it. Somebody in, in Reddit joined it to see. And what they yeah, did Scotty. is somebody went on there and verified an account with another name and then changed it to your name. Oh, wow. One day, one day I'll get the hair transplant. But wow. for now, I still got a little Stop bit. <laughs> well, somebody. Okay. Listen, and somebody in Natasha's chat was like, he needs to shave that thing off his head. You listen up and you listen up real close, you fucking bitches. <gasps> I have a hairline like that too. And you want to know what? I'm fucking hot. And his hairline, it looks good. You find a way to style it. And my hair, okay? I haven't even showered yet today. It fits. 
and I'm just going to say this to all the people, and this is going to be controversial too, but I don't give a fuck. When people say, shave that thing off your head, I'm thinking to myself, bitch, if I had a problem with the way I looked, I would shave it off my head. But you can't shave ugly off that face, so zip it, bitch. You cannot shave off ugly, bitches. So if you got a problem with my hair, I don't give a fuck. That's the least of your fucking problems. Talking about that mean mug. You understand? You went into TikTok and saw this. Your mouth was wide open, Michelle. I know, isn't it? Just crazy. All right. He's oh. getting a transplant. I was responding. <laughs> One day. I still have a little bit. I'm still good for now. It <laughs> looks good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god anything else not not that i can think of you're welcome natasha no, i'm not ready yet i'm not ready yet <laughs> thank you for uh oh letting me god. share it it's my shirt or maybe they're talking about you i don't know oh maybe that's me because i'm wearing a tank top <laughs> my bad guys i had something completely different planned for this live which hopefully i can get to because it's really interesting so i'm trying to get through this part uh so let's keep going <laughs> <laughs> all right anything else before oh. i go not that I can think of. Okay. Not that I can think of. Well, I appreciate it because y'all just um y'all just verified to everybody that I'm not lying, that I know who y'all are and that y'all know who I am. Jesus of take course. the wheel. I'm so sick of people be people saying that crap. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and do whatever you're gonna do. We're just hanging out as friends. That's all it is. Just like I said, do whatever you're going to do. You're both adults. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry, but if he flew out to see her and he looking like that, you ain't hanging out with me just as friends. We climbing on top of each other. That's what we're going to do. Because, bitch, you didn't take this trip for nothing. And I'm going to suck you good. <gasps> sorry about that. But, I mean, come on. Let's call a spade a spade. If you women had this man in front of you, I mean, you may have really high expectations don't tell me for one second you ain't going ride it okay thank you thank you because i will bye. oh wait hold on okay they said bye just now i i forgot I, I i didn't share the screen they're pogo sticking that's what i think i think that and i mean shit she might as well but like I told you, uh, Natasha, I, I think she needs to like experience the world, even as a child. Like, I think it's good she's living with her parents. I think she needs to get that um, the kid kind of out of her system because she really never even had a chance to be an actual kid, if you think about it. That's my opinion. So I think she needs to like feel loved by family and experience all of that kind of stuff and kind of be treated like a kid a little bit too, you know, nurtured, loved, and kind of grow up because she probably grew up and learned a lot in prison, but she kind of needs to like experience herself and shit like that. And yeah, maybe date, have boyfriends, just like we did when we we're teenagers and early twenties and experience, see what you like, you know? Um, Cause her husband, fuck that. And yes, I do promote safe sex and whore it up, you know, skank it up a little bit. Sleep around, see what you like. Why did I just turn into a fucking Oompa Loompa? Ah, I'm changing colors. Look at me. Look at me. Uh, you've wondered if she had a hard time getting off pill. I'm, I would imagine, I mean, any substance is hard to get off of. You have to use different words on TikTok so you don't get banned. So pogo stick and hot pocket have become frequent. That's why Doja Cat stopped streaming on TikTok because she liked to vape too. And, and they kept uh, getting Doja Cat in trouble for vaping. It's like, it's Doja Cat, bitch. She's making you money. She can vape all she fucking wants to. Natasha says she was not on pills. Um, in prison? What what was it on the doc? Wasn't what documentary were they even talking about that? 
where she said she had become addicted to pills in prison and then she got off of it or something like that. And then she said she was sober for a certain amount of years or whatever. You want to remember that? Oh, it's a lie. Who told this lie? I'm vaping off camera, by the way. Was it Gypsy that told the lie or was it just somebody else made it up? I think maybe that's her dumb confessions. I think, wasn't that kind of where you guys had an issue with each other, you and Gypsy, Natasha, is because you think she was like lying about some certain things? Because I remember you did have some sort of controversy. Oh, okay. It was Gypsy that, that said that. See, that's what I'm saying, you guys. Tauruses do, they can tell little white lies very easily. It's very natural for Tauruses to do that. You don't know much about her. You need to do research. I heard Natasha talking about this Gypsy Rose person all the time for years. I'm like, who the fuck is she talking about? I never followed that case. Not one time. And when she got out of prison, I was like, why are all these people upset this woman's getting out of prison? And then I looked into it. I was like, whoa. And then I watched the um, the movie with uh, Patricia Arquette, which that's that's a really good series, by the way, like movie series. That was really good. I'm sure they changed a lot of shit in it, but uh, it was good. And then I just looked at a bunch of documentaries and stuff like that. And I've always been on Gypsy's side as far as uh you know what she went through and that she does deserve freedom and shit like that and then when she got out i changed my opinion a little bit because i'm like okay the whole tiktok and all this shit and you know treating her like a celebrity is fucked up because now it feels like we're just like you know sympathizing with it or whatever <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's Natasha's rumble. Do you want me to come up and explain? Okay, yeah, that'll probably be easier. Hold on, I'll drop the link. I hope she can find... Uh... I don't know if she ever will find peace and happiness, to be honest. I don't think with something happen happening like that and her actually being there to witness the screams and all that, but in some sense, I think she needs to find peace within herself, which she might have already done in prison. Who knows? But she also needs to experience it out in the real world. Because that kind of shit. Uh, I mean, shit, I I'm, have PTSD from witnessing my husband have seizures. I could not imagine hearing him getting wee, 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 wee over in the next room, especially if I kind of planned it, you know, which I would not. He might do it to me, though, if I keep going the way I am. And poking and poking and poking. All right, guys. Sorry. Oh, Michelle says hi, Michael. Um, so, yeah, I was going to talk about some scary shit, but I will uh, and not ghost stuff. Actual real stuff. That's terrifying, but I'll save that for the next live. Because there's a whole video I had to show. Um, but Natasha was like, oh, you could show my video this morning. So we got onto that. And that's why I changed the name of the live stream. Because ADHD and Gypsy Rose don't mix very well. Okay. Um, listen. Oh, okay. Thank you, uh, bitch. Okay. Okay. Is that a real person, bitch? Is that like somebody you've seen in chats somewhere else? Um, all right, guys. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Oh, thank, thank you for coming up, uh, calling in Natasha and explaining that. And uh, look, go over. She's going live on TikTok. And uh, keep your eyes peeled on entertainment tonight. Tonight. <laughs> oh, thank you, bitch. Yeah, he's feeling better. All right, guys. Anyways, I will talk to you later. Uh, the eclipse is coming. That's part of the scary stuff I was going to talk about because I saw some crazy videos that I was like, whoa, that I had my opinions on. And also Doja Cat's new album, the re-release of Scarlet is being released tonight, technically tomorrow, but tonight, I think around 10 p.m. with like seven new songs on it.
and I think new music video. So I'm excited for that. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you have a good uh, day, afternoon, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Huh? No, no, no chance. Oh, God.